Although we know a lot about the wild trees in Britain, we know far less about urban trees simply because we've imported so many species from all over the world and we really have very little idea of precisely what's out there. Cherry blossom is one of the iconic pointers that spring's arrived, but of course there are other trees flowering at that time which may look like cherries even though they're not. True cherries have flowers in clusters with all of the flower stalks coming from the same point. They also have a single style in the centre of the flower and one stone in the fruit. This particular species is Prunus avium, the wild cherry or geum. The features that give it away are the teeth around the margin of the leaf, which are rounded and quite blunt at the tips, the hairless leaf stalk and the hairless flower stalks. In this particular species, the flowers tend to open and remain cup-shaped. Other species open completely flat. Well, the street here is lined with trees and there's an interesting story about how they came to be here, isn't there? There certainly is. Uh, in uh, 1905, the Russians took it upon themselves to occupy some of the northern islands of uh, Japan. And Japan called upon us, as we were the leading naval power at the time, to send a few gunboats, and we did. And the, the Russians retired, uh, and uh, so there was no war, which the Japanese were expecting. Uh, and so therefore, uh, they were incredibly grateful to us for that, and sent us a, a present of a couple of hundred uh, saplings of uh, or what we understood to be uh, Japanese cherries. This is Prunus seriolata, a name which covers a group of closely related species, complex hybrids and ancient cultivars. Some of them tracing their origins back to 17th century Japan. There are lots of varieties, but the characters that distinguish it are the hairless leaf stalks and flower stalks, and also the leaf margins with teeth which are pointed and drawn out into long bristle-like tips. The flowers are almost always some shade of pink, even if it's only when they're in bud. They can be single with one whorl of petals, double with two or more whorls, or like this one, with many whorls, often called the chrysanthemum forms. We're asking people to check in their gardens, in parks and streets, and tell us what trees occur there. The record's really important to us. It will help us to determine such things as changes in the populations of trees, whether trees are able to grow further north than in the past, exactly what's here and why and where. <laughs>